Hello friends, uh, welcome back. My name is Haley and this is At Home with Haley. Um, today, it is Sunday afternoon. There's been several things I've been meaning to get done all weekend and the weekend has gotten away from me. So I'm gonna try to wrap it up today uh, before the weekend's over. Um, so just a few things that um, I don't maybe always do every time I clean the house or I don't do them as well that I want to do a little better. So I'm in my bathroom. That's because I really need to do a really good deep scrub on my shower. Sometimes I just clean the tub out. Sometimes it's just a quick uh, scrub over the shower walls and I really need to get in there and clean a little deeper. So I'm going to do that. Also up above me is a fan vent that hasn't had a cover on it for a while so I've got my vacuum in here I'm going to try to get the dust out of that and then what we needed to do to replace a part of it is um, there's a light in it too and the cord wasn't working anymore so we got a new cord for a new light bulb so hopefully we can get all that fixed up this afternoon then also I really need to clean up the area around my washer and dryer and clean off the top it's super dusty and got like coins and random stuff I find in the laundry in there. Um, so those are just some things that maybe, you know, not the normal cleaning, but a little deeper. Obviously fan vents, not something I do all the time, but just things on my list that I wanna try to get done before uh, the week starts over. So just wanna bring you along with me. May make some little treats at the end, so stick around to see a super easy but really delicious uh, treat you can make for any occasion. I know there's some different variations of it where you can make it kind of seasonal. So I'm gonna make a pretty generic version, but you can change it up a little bit and make it uh, more festive for whatever season it is. So stick around with me till the end. Um, if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. And if you're new, um, I just welcome you and appreciate you coming by and watching. And I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. All right. <laughs> so I am embarrassed to say how long um, this vent cover has been off of here. So what it is, is it's a vent, but it's also um, got a light that goes with it. So we have the other lights that are over the vanity, but this one is like more of a dim light and I've been missing it because um, oh and look at all that dust so literally I think it's been a year since we took this down and we were just needed a cord so see the plug there the white plug in the middle um, it's supposed to have a cord with a light bulb like this uh, but the co actual cord quit working so um, we just needed to buy a new one and we just happened to be at Lowe's like we weren't even in there for this and I was like man we like let's get that cord um I couldn't reach it of course so called in uh reinforcements here um so my husband's able to I just had a step stool so it just had two steps on it and I'm five foot nothing so <laughs> didn't work um so we're just testing it out before we get it hooked up and he's like oh how does it go in here i was like oh yeah you gotta have this metal part um, but you actually have to get all that set up first so he's actually gonna unplug it but anyway super dusty that's been open for a long time we've still used the fan and that's probably not a good thing but i vacuumed out as much dust as i could but anyway, I missed this light because it has like an opaque kind of cover on it and that makes it so it's more dim. So when you come in, you know, in the middle of the night and need to use the bathroom, you're not getting blinded by, you know, the main light, which is too bright for, for middle, of, middle of the night. Um, <clears throat> it's nice to have those bright lights when you're, you know, putting on makeup and stuff, but when you just need to come in at nighttime. It's nice to have this other light. So I'm excited we got this fixed. Um, but yeah, having trouble getting this in. Um, but I do, spoiler alert, I do end up getting it in there. 
um there it goes so um i feel like this isn't exactly like the old one because it didn't do exactly the same but we got it to work anyway so um the point is that it got done but yeah i'm just putting this together and then we'll call my husband back in so that he can get it hooked up all right but <laughs> didn't realize that you actually need to like put together the metal piece with the vent cover before you do this so he's going to get this put in and then we're going to realize we have to take it back out so that's cool it had been that long since we took it down we didn't remember how to put it back together um but that's okay we got it done and that's what counts um and i just wanted to say i wish i could always you know commit to having a a video out every single week um, but it had been two weeks. I had intended to try to film something the weekend before, but, you know, things just don't always go right. So, um, but speaking of the weekend before, one reason is because our son got married. So, the son who was living here with his fiance and daughter, um, he and his fiance got married last week. So, that's exciting. So, that was pretty much my Saturday. Um was doing that and then on Sunday I just had a ton of other stuff to get done throughout the week sometimes I do things and then I'm like man I should have filmed that like I clean up after dinner you know I could do like after dinner routine or you know like I made chili last week I could have done a chili recipe and like after the fact I'm like man missed opportunity so I'll try to think ahead on things like that but just want to say I appreciate y'all coming back when when I do get one up and I wish I could be more consistent but right now at this time in my life it just doesn't work so this is us trying to figure out how to get it together so it turns out that metal white piece he just put in you actually have to put it on second so you're you're like putting that plastic piece on first and then that so he's got to take it all back down and I had intended to do all this myself, but the height, uh, the height is the issue. All right, so now I've got it kind of put together where basically the metal part holds the uh, plastic part on. So it all has to go up in one piece. And then at the very end, there's... Um, the opaque kind of cover that I was telling you about just pops on the outside. So we do end up getting it, but, um, anyway, I didn't intend to get him involved. He was relaxing and I, I had to bug him, but just for a few minutes and then I let him sit back down. <laughs> he didn't mind at all. Um, this, like I said, was needed to be done for a long time. So I am glad that we took the time, um, on this Sunday afternoon and that we remembered about it while we were at Lowe's. So, you know, if I don't have a list, it's hard for me to remember things. All right. He's getting that bolt put back on. And now the last step is just to push that little piece in. And here we are. Very nice. It's a daylight bulb in there. Not sure I love it, but that's all I have. All right. In addition to kind of more deep cleaning my shower, I'm also going to wash the shower curtains. Um, I will wash my... <coughs> the um the inside curtain there the plastic curtain several times too before I get new ones so you know they're cheap so you could just get new ones but um I do wash them so I'm just showing you these shower hooks um are rusted and it's causing the rust to get on my pretty white shower curtain so I'm just going to put the, the shower curtain 
cloth one and the plastic one in the wash. All right, so just showing you, there's some soap scum. There's, um, you know, discoloration in the grout. Now, I will say this. I've scrubbed this entire thing, like stood in there for several hours with a toothbrush and didn't get it clean. All right, you see that's dirty. Dirty tub. Um, <clears throat> I'm just using a foaming bathroom cleaner, so I'm going to get that put on the walls um, and around the inside of the tub. But there are some areas in this bathtub I just, I can't make it look any better. I clean it, I scrub it. Um but there's just not much else I can do. So, um, unless you guys have a hack for stained grout, which someone probably does, um, some of these spots are just not going to look good. But that's okay. We are not perfect around here. We're not striving for perfection. We're striving for... <laughs> um, I think we're... What are we striving for? good enough <laughs> um progress not perfection that's it that sounds better than good enough right we want to make progress uh we want to improve what we can um but everything's not perfect and life is not perfect and that's okay so this is an older home i'm going to have things that won't come clean in this house um and that's all right as long as you know we know it's clean it's stained you know it's not disgusting but it's maybe not as pretty as you want it to be but i think that's reality for a lot of people um you know you see you see on social media brand new bathrooms and brand new kitchens and brand new everything um but a lot of people are you know living just fine with their older bathrooms and you know they're they're making it work and not even making it work i mean they're fine um you know just not as not as bright and shiny at one time they were um i think this bathroom was added our house has an addition on it and it was added i think in the 80s our house was built in 1960 um, but like the entire back side of our house, there's a basement with a bedroom and a big open area and a bathroom and our laundry room, um, which you'll see in a little bit. And then upstairs, our entire master bedroom, as well as this bathroom. Um, I think the bathroom was part of the original home, but I think it got updated in the eighties cause it is. A little more updated than our other <laughs> our other bathroom which you it's we, I call it the pink bathroom um, you can see it in other videos it is pink tile and a pink bathtub and pink floor and <laughs> um, I told myself or also told my husband I'm like no we got to do something about that before I move in to this house and we've been here three years and that bathroom's still pink and we're living life just fine um, but anyway, um, I think, so our master bedroom and the closet that you guys may have seen in other videos, um, was part of the addition. And so it sits on top of that basement. And then the area like behind the couch in my living room, um, where our stairs to the basement go down was part of the addition. So it added, I mean, it almost doubles the size, probably since there's a downstairs back there it might double the size of our house uh, from what it would have been when it was built originally but anyway um i just take a cup um and i, I do wish i had like a spray shower head because that makes this a lot easier we had put one in in our other house but i just hadn't even thought about it much here but it does make it easier to kind of rinse off um, the cleaner once you're done but this does fine as well um i'm a i get messy when i'm uh cleaning the shower like i get water all over the floor so i always have to have to clean that up at the end um all right and then while that spray stuff does okay 
for the shower walls. And I use it in the tub too. I just think Ajax just does the best job of, or Comet, you know, some kind of cleaner like that that's a little more abrasive. Um, does the best job in the tub because if that it's like grease and grime build up and like I think I said this before I don't remember but I had not scrubbed this tub the weekend before but that I mean only two weeks of not cleaning it and it was pretty gross so anyway I, I feel like my husband will take baths a lot I don't take baths hardly at all and if I do, I scrub it right before, and then I get in. <laughs> I don't sit in the tub the way it was just now. So, um, anyway, it was grimy, and um, this that you see that I'm scrubbing there, that's part of, like, what just is not going to look prettier. It's just yellow and yucky. Uh, but I still scrub it just to make sure it's clean, um, but it's stained. And perhaps you guys know a way to to make it look good. Some of the spots in the grout that look yellower are actually where I think someone had tried to re-grout and they had used a different color so it wasn't as white as the original grout. So on the entire back wall, which I don't show much in this video, but the entire like wall across from the shower head, um, Pretty much that whole wall has a different colored grout and so it looks dirty but it's just a different color so you know i would like to change it someday but like i said we're living life and able to shower and do what we need to do in the bathroom with it uh, older even if it doesn't look as shiny and new um but if some at some point that becomes a priority we'll do it right now not a top priority keeping it clean is a priority for me um but updating the whole thing is not all right so this had a lot some of that's the powder the ajax i put on there but some is that build up of soap um so i had just been seeing that while i've been in the shower and it's just hard to get it when it's you know when it's uh the shelves are on so and two, if there's stuff on there. So really just getting everything off of those shelves and taking them down was just the easiest way to do this. I definitely don't do this every time I clean my shower for sure. Um, but it did feel good to, to get these clean too. So just a nice touch that I don't always get to. And for some reason my water wasn't staying in. But I think I fixed it here. Um, so there's three little tiers to this shelf. So just getting those cleaned off. Um, but I would love to hear in the comments what you're doing while you're watching this. Um, you know, I do like to turn on cleaning videos while I'm cleaning sometimes. Uh, or I just turn on videos while I'm like maybe sitting and doing busy work in the evenings. Um, I can kind of listen and watch a little bit, but not have to, you know, stare at my screen. I'm still getting other things done. Um, so, you know, does it give you guys also, does it motivate you to want to clean? Uh, it does for me. So I watch other people and number one, it lets me know everybody's homes get dirty and you might go to someone's house and for, you know, an event or something, and you think, oh, God, their house is so clean. Um, but you have no idea what that house looked like the day before. If, if they know people are coming, they're likely doing the most to, um, to try and get it looking good, which I try to do, too. Uh, but, you know, things get dirty. I mean, you live here, and you use things, and it gets dirty. So, um, you know, don't feel bad that you know just because everyone it appears that everyone else's homes are clean all the time that's you know just not the case I think there are people out there who <laughs> who somehow manage to keep theirs just they're just very good at um what's the word the main maintenance cleaning 
they just you know do the things every day to make it cleaner uh, but anyway I'm just going in with this little brush into some of the um, grout lines that looked the worst so here that to the right is that wall where I said it's mainly a different color grout so like that looks dirty but that is the color of that grout it's not as white um, so I bet they didn't realize it wasn't going to turn out the same color when they did it all right and then this one I didn't get down but I did scrub it a little bit it's much newer I just bought that not that long ago this isn't perfect that is not not dirty that is a stain or something that won't come off so just showing y'all even though you know I scrubbed some of these areas they don't look perfect they look better uh, in general it looks better feels better not perfect but we are going for um, what is what I said earlier <laughs> progress not perfection all right and there's just some new metal rings that I'm gonna use on my shower to get rid of the rusty ones all right so I put that plastic shower curtain uh, the shower curtain out of my bathroom and the shower curtain out of the pink bathroom all in the wash together um, the other one's white too so I put them all in together the plastic one I do not dry I take it out when when it's over and sometimes there'll be some water kind of like sitting in it so watch out if you get it out of the washing machine there could be water drip out okay and then all of this is clean um, that big comforter goes in our camper I just need to get it folded up some of this is towels some is clothes anyway I just didn't have a basket down here um, when I was getting stuff out or someone else would come and get things out of the dryer and not do what they need to do with them so stuff just got thrown there I don't typically throw stuff there so that's not like a common occurrence for there to be stuff thrown on that but I did have some of the other items um, so I don't typically throw laundry on there is what I'm saying um, but you see back there the pink and white and red flowers those were um, just showing y'all how I know how to fold a fitted sheet just showing off <laughs> anyway and then here's that comforter I'm gonna fold that up too um, but those flowers in the background were from my daughter's sweet 16 and I just didn't know where to put them you're gonna see me stuff them in this little cabinet in here in a little bit just to get them off of the surface um, but yeah like I said just some clothes some other random stuff that needs to just get put put away and those didn't really have a place so I just made a place um, and there was our dog Penny checking on me there she uh, stays in the basement because she's she sheds everywhere and she just can't behave upstairs uh, she also doesn't get along with the cats too great so um, okay so a few hats on the dryer let's see what's all on the dryer a lot of change so you're gonna see me get all that up and on this day I had leggings on that didn't actually have regular pockets but I had like that small little pocket that's really meant for like a key but I managed to put all this change in that little pocket and took it upstairs and my husband has a little change jar upstairs um so I just took it up there and usually I do that occasionally I just find all the change and take it up and give it to him and he cashes it in every now and then all right and then all these bolts and washers I just threw away I'm sure they were in either my husband I guess they're my uh either my husband or my son that just moved out laundry but he's been moved out for a month or so so I'm guessing it's my husband's all right the band-aids and pencils I'm gonna take upstairs the matches I'm gonna take upstairs um, there's a necklace 
I'm going to take upstairs. I, put, I think I put it in my pocket with the change and a bracelet. Let's see what else. Um, that's like a piece of broken off chain. This little door stop goes over here. So I put that up. It doesn't really fit on real good. I need to figure out why it comes off. And then a belt that I think that belongs to my son who moved out. So I'll have to see. So all that's going to go upstairs with me. And that's in the trash. Alright, so these are pretty dusty. So I'm just spraying. I, you can't see the bottle, but I sprayed just some all-purpose sp spray. <laughs> excuse me. Uh, the lemon ver verbena. And I get it from Walmart. I know there's a lemon verbena Mrs. Myers. I think I bought that one time. And I actually like the smell of the Walmart one better. Uh, but maybe the Mrs. Myers is better for you. So I get as much of this off as I can. And then I actually don't show it. But I had to get a stool so I could reach the back. Because my washer and dryer are on pedestals. And I'm five foot zero. So, um, couldn't reach back there. I don't show on camera me getting it all. But I do show at the end where it's all cleaned. And then there was just this little spot where I guess sometimes... Um, soap and water just kind of drips down the front of the washer so i just sprayed that as well and tried to get it off as best i could so that looks better all right so much improved and you can see here i did get all the way the back of the washer and dryer feels better um not to walk down here and see all that mess all right Here's for the fun stuff. That's my daughter with her crazy nails on. My nails are fake too, but mine <laughs> stay a little more tame. So we are making, I don't know what you call them, but it's pretzels and Rolos. And you melt the Rolos just a little bit. And then uh, you can do a number of different things. We put M&Ms on part of these and you just kind of mush the M&M down into it. Uh, and I'm speeding this up a lot because this took us a while. Um, so you mush the Rolos down into it. And like I was saying earlier, there's like festive ones you can do. <laughs> there she is being a weirdo. Um, and then here we are putting the Rolos on. So again, going to speed this up because it took quite a while. I didn't buy the ones that are not individually wrapped so they were individually wrapped so we had to unwrap every single one um i think they make them where they're not individually wrapped all right so now you put them in an oven at 250. i've been using my oven on convect every time now because i think it just does that just mean it moves the air around better it seems like stuff gets less burnt on the bottom when i put it on convect so that's what I've been doing. So you put them in here at 250 just for like two and a half minutes. So you'll see me set the time there. Um, I think that set it for two and a half hours. But I didn't leave them in there for that long. I just, after a few minutes, I was like, I feel like it's been long enough. And like I, at one point I had leaned on the oven. So I was like, I think maybe I turned it off, the timer off. So anyway, um, my, my son is over there helping, and then my daughter closest to you, and then I'm actually going to get on the side where, see there, I'm making some where I just like make a little sandwich out of it. Um, those were my favorite, but the M&M ones are good too, and when they get cooled off, they're so good. But that's it for today. Um, let me know if you guys make these and try them out. They're really good. Um, there's ones you can make to look like reindeer. There's ones you can make to look like spiders. You can really do something festive. So I'll try to link a few different versions. I know there's some Halloween ones, uh, like I said, and Christmas ones. So um, if I find a few different recipe types, I'll link those. But thanks for hanging out with me while I got some things done today. I hope it gave you all the motivation to get some things you've been avoiding in your home done. Um, and I hope you come back next time. 
if you would like uh, consider subscribing i would love to have you around and come back again next time and i will see y'all later bye